Hey guys, so today I'm gonna do a DIY Valentine gift ideas. So I've got my little bug ears and um, let's go make some, can I say shit? Does it have to be stuff? So everything I picked up in this video is from the Dollar Tree today except for these acrylic paints in my first DIY. I got these from Walmart, I believe. The foam brushes are from the dollar store. I am creating a red and blue mixture to create a maroon color. The person that this gift is for, their favorite color is maroon, so that is why I am trying to create that color. So I got some construction paper, and I am trying to cut out the most attractive heart that is possible. So I cut that out and then what I'm gonna do with this is tape it to the vase that I did pick up from the dollar store as well. I'm creating a little photo vase kind of candy jar you could say. So I taped it on my vase and then I'm getting my foam brush and I'm dabbing it in the paint a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is stipple it kind of on the outside perimeter of where the heart is. I'm trying to create like a painted vase look with a heart cut out. So I just dabbed it around there, tried to create it thick enough so that the heart cut out stands out enough. And then I kind of extended the sides here so that it's more of a horizontal look. And then I found a picture that I wanted to put in it. Just trimmed the picture so that me and the person would be centered inside the heart when the picture was placed in there. Almost. So I have it like that. And then... What I'm going to do is grab some sweetheart candies that I picked up from the dollar store and put them in there behind the picture. And then I have my little candy jar. So that is the picture I chose and got the candies. I showed you an alternate idea. These are his favorite candies. So I just put them in there and I stuck the picture back in there. And that is probably the way that I will leave it for him because I know that he likes these candies. The next idea was just another little box I picked up from the dollar store. I think it was left over from the Christmas section because it was the only one that I saw there. I went to Walgreens that day and I picked out some, printed out some photos of us that I thought would be cute for this DIY idea. So I used the lid as kind of a template to cut out some of the pictures to make sure that they all would fit on the sides and the lid of the box. Trying to find pictures that are not too up close so that both of our faces would fit when it was cut into the square was harder than I thought it was going to be. So I am just cutting out trimming the pictures to fit. And then I began taping all the pictures to the lids because I did not feel like going to get glue. So I got the picture on the lid and then I am attaching pictures to all the sides of the box. So 
So that is my finished product of the box. With the lid on there, you can't see our faces in that picture, but that's fine. I don't think he's going to care. So then I just poured some of the sweethearts into the box to make it like a little photo box slash candy jar. Could set it on his desk or in his room. That way there is pictures of us, but he can also grab a candy when he wants to. The other idea I had, like I'm showing you here, is on one side of the paper I wrote I love you because on just regular notebook paper. And then on the other side, I wrote a bunch of reasons why I love him. So I just cut them into little rectangles and then I folded them up to stick them inside the box. Again, he could keep this like in his office or something so that he's surrounded by our pictures and good memories. And then every time he wants to read a reason why he's loved, he can just pull one out. Another idea would be to write some of your favorite memories on the pieces of paper and make it like kind of a memory box. I think that would be cute as well. So this is just my box with all the papers in it. I think it's a really cute idea for any day, but especially Valentine's Day. The last idea I had was to make a photo box. The photo box I got from Michael's and I think it was 9 inches by 9 inches and about $10. The flower I dried out from a while back when he put a flower on my car while I was at work. And it was just a good day so I've kept that and I put it in there. Then I am just pinning a couple pictures of us to the board behind it. And then I believe that receipt is from parking at Universal Studios because that is one of mine and his favorite memories. So I keep that and I thought I would include that in this shadow box. And then I have kept, I'm pretty sure, every single movie ticket from every movie date we've ever been on. So I picked one of my favorite days and dates we went to and I just pinned that particular movie ticket in there. And then I'm just going to close up the box. This box could either be set on a dresser desk or it does have like a hanger attachment so he could hang it on his wall. So that is just what it looks like. I hope you liked all these DIY ideas. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in a future video.